want to add glitch you got glitch if you want to add uh, grain I, I don't even know what grain is for but yeah whoever needs that but that's secular waves for reminder stuff you got it okay what's up guys welcome to another video so today i'm going to be talking about a uh, post processing effect i found in the good data set library that's actually free so as always the good data is supposed to be free so um the plugin allows you to have a lot of effects now basically what you can see right here you can see there's a little bit of a fish eye effect in this game like it's like a, in the fish eye effect everything is kind of like round that was done using the plugin so i'm going to quickly show you guys the plugin so asset library this is it i just search post process and that's it by it's scoring by uh, it's scoring yeah and as you can see it has some features like pixelate color correction chromatic abrasion blur grain glitch vignette outline fish eye which i needed analog monitor circular with speed lines and screen shake and so many other stuff so you download it and go over to project project settings and make sure you activate it processing plugin yeah done so how do you add it to your scene uh, it's pretty simple you just basically just like you can see it's right here basically just like a node you add it to your scene such a post process and let me let me type for <laughs> post uh post process and you can see it's a canvas layer type it's a canvas layer type and you basically just add it like that to the scene so when you add it to the scene you basically create a new post processing effect i just cleared mine so create new new processing configuration now it has a lot of things settings i don't really know what does this does but you can see some visual effects stuff by like chromatic abrasion blur fish eye vignettes and other stuff display stuff you can turn it to pixelate clarity whatever that is and screen shake one of the things i really love about plugging the screen shake effect because i don't need to do anything with the camera i just have to do it so basically it's a shader it's a just like bunch of shaders working that's how it basically works so it is this it is a screen based uh, shader to the canvas shader so yeah that's how it works and so also there's an outline effect uh-huh so uh, let me just show you another thing about the plugin is you can basically just after you've configured everything yeah you can basically just save it and i'm just going to drag in my back so i can show you guys some things yeah. it can do and drag and drop and as you can see all my settings are back i'm using this for screen shake and other stuff the fish eye stuff it sets and uh, in case you need big net or glitch or whatever so let me just do a quick um a quick stop about some of the effects so right now i'll turn off the fish eye so now as you can see the game is this is how the game basically is like that this is it there's no fish eye effect i think there's only chromatic abrasion and stuff the bloom effect is basically done still with the normal stuff and also when i pause you can see the blur effects around that was also done using the plugin so if i come back here uh, and i think it's supposed to work if i save and play yeah you can see it is back because i just activated it so using that let's test out some other stuff you can do other stuff like um outline if you want to add outline to every single 3d object drawn in the screen or 2d objects and <laughs> yeah it you can see it was it has added an add outline to every single object yeah so other stops uh the screen shake yeah. yeah you can see in my game in my game you can see that there's screen shake so that is done using code actually using code i think in the uh heat box okay so because you can save the heat uh, processing effect as a resource you can basically also call it out in a different script for example you can see here um i'm actually i exported it as a variable 
and call it and uh, just drag and drop this dude in it. That's basically what I did. So I right, actually. So um, also I'm not supposed to be using resource later. I discovered I could uh, use in configuration something post processing configuration. Yeah, that's the right one. So with that, uh, what I also just did was um, whenever the blocks get destroyed, I call the post processing dot screen shake equals true, and just to let you know, remember I'm. Um, Exporting it as a variable here, and I've already assigned it uh, just to threshold post processing dot screen shake. You can see that's how easy it is to just call out a new to call out and uh, use the properties in code. Um, I have one more thing is that because once you call the screen shake, it will keep shaking forever. Um, you, I have to delete it. I have to uh, deactivate it before I delete the scene. So just calling it in 0 0.1 seconds and delete the whole node. So that's how I got the heat effects working. Also, there is um, one more thing I forgot to cover. It the post processing effect has speed lines. Um, let me see if it will show in the 2D canvas um speed line so yeah for let me turn off the fish eye and you can you can see it it has a speed line like really cool really cool ain't gonna lie really cool probably if you want to add glitch you got glitch if you want to add uh grain i, I don't even know what grain is for but yeah whoever needs that but that's circular waves for reminder stuff, you got it. Um, the, there's pixelate and other stuff, but yeah, just play around with it. If you need any help, you want me to cover some how to use some of the effects, I will let you know and just drop a comment and I will make a video about it. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. So. Uh, yeah, like and uh, like this video if you learn something and watch this video about why Godot sucks as mobile games next. Alright, thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.